Hello everyone, welcome and we are going to be covering how do you write the code for checking if a number is positive or negative or even zero. So let's say if you have any number x, now there are three possibilities, right? The number can be positive, the number can be negative or the number can be zero, right? Obviously, if it's not, not positive and it's not negative, in that case, the number has to be zero. So we'll be implementing all of this. I'll just show you the code using if else loop. I hope that you do have some basic knowledge about if else loop. So let's directly go and have a look upon the code. Uh, correct. So this is the code for you rather than writing the code because the video would become 2x longer and I want to save your time. I have already written the code. Uh, and I'll be explaining you that code line by line. So let's go ahead here, obviously include IO stream and using namespace STD. Now we've created a variable called as num wherein we'll be storing the value. So let's say if the user is entering value 23. And so basically we'll be checking if 23 that is num is positive, negative or zero. And here we've created an interface wherein we'll be saying asking the user to enter the number and using see out scene statement, the number would get stored. Right now, obviously there are three particular conditions here. Uh, just give me a second, right? So there are three particular conditions here. So first condition here, what we are doing is we are basically checking if the number is positive. So we inside an if loop have implemented that, okay, the number, let's say if the user has entered 23. So we are checking if that number is greater than zero. So in that case, obviously it's positive, right? So we just go ahead and say that, okay, it's a positive number, simple. Right. Now, let's say if the user has entered minus 10 as a value. So in that case, obviously this condition would fail. Now, since this condition has failed, because obviously minus 10 is greater than zero. Is that true? No, it's not. So it will directly go to the else if part. Now, in the else if part, we are checking that, okay, is the number minus 10 smaller than zero? Obviously it is. So in that case, we'll be saying that the number is negative. Now. The final case here is that if let's say the number is, we check this condition, the number is not greater than zero. Then obviously we check this condition, the number is not also smaller than zero. So we're left with just one particular case that, okay, this is not true. This is not true. So in that case, the number must definitely be zero. So we are going ahead and saying zero here. Now on the right hand side, what I've done here is, I've already written the value. So let's say if I enter minus 10 here in the input panel and I run the particular program. So as you can see here, it will say that the number is a negative number. So as you can see here, and again, you can check for different values. Now the solution to this particular program, you can find on the, this particular page, the link is in the description of the video. Uh, here there's the brute force method that the one that we've discussed, there are two more methods that are, you know, very similar. Uh, one is using different kind of nesting and one is using the ternary operator. So make sure that you get that link from the description of the video. Uh, in fact, all the different programs uh, that are very important for placements and becoming a better coder. We've created a top 100 code section here on Prep Insta. So you can check this particular page uh, and you can find all positive, negative, Armstrong number, uh, HCF, LCM, all the other programs and all the different languages here given below. So we just launched Prep Insta Prime subscription, which is like 150 plus courses under one subscription. So it has courses like C, C++, Java, Python, artificial intelligence, machine learning, cybersecurity, data structures, comparative coding, even company specific courses like TCS, NQT, Infosys, TCS Digital, Amazon, etc. The link is in the description of the video. Go check that out. I'm sure that you'll love that.